He's got some shove for a little him. Right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome along to another first impression piece from us. This time it is all about, well, this little compact beast behind us, which is the new uh, Manitou ULM. So you find us at Cheshire Farm Machinery uh, in Cheshire. I've got Mr. David Clark from uh, Manitou UK, who is going to give us a little walk round uh, of this new little compact machine. And then hopefully, once we've done that, We'll chuck some cameras in cab and we'll have a bit of a play as well, just for good measure. So, ULM, I mean, what's it, what's it all about? Because it is... It, it's a brand new little little range for us, James. Um, first of all, welcome. We're going to just give you a little bit of an overview on, on what these machines are. So, we first of all, we've got these fantastic new little machines available as a Manitou ULM, which stands for Ultra Light Manitou. And we also have the same machine available in the Gale branded, uh, as a, a GCT or Gel Compact Telehandler. Now the purpose behind these machines is to be towable, to be light enough but also compact enough to be transported behind a pickup um, on a trailer. We have two models available in both brands. First of all the Manatee we have the 412, so a 4.3 metre, uh, 1.25 tonne lift capacity machine with a hydrostatic transmission. And then on the Gel numbering we actually exactly the same size but we have a 314 which stands 3,000 pound uh, 14 foot lift height. Now on the minor two we have two models 412 or a 415 so in this exact same configuration you either have a 1.25 ton machine or a 1.5 ton machine. Right. So one and a half ton lift in a transportable package that weighs 2.7 ton gives you lots of flexibility. And presumably to get that extra lift, it's just down to ballast, just is it? Just down to ballast, we, so the bigger model does have a bigger rear counterweight on the back of it. There's another 120 kilograms inside and also a slightly larger lift ramp to give the machine that bit right. of extra tear out force. So well. that has to be a factory order? Yes. You can't go there's no, this there's one no, up, for no, example. There's no additional counterweights right. we can add. It's, a, it's two dedicated models that we offer, the 412 or the 415. All the models are all 4.3 meters lift height and they all have a 35 horsepower uh, Yanmar engine underneath right. the bonnet, which gives plenty of power, plenty of pushing power, plenty of torque available. Um, hydrostatic drive, 25K top speed. Um, and they have two speed ranges, 7k bottom speed and 25k and top speed. It's plenty of, of travel speed to get out and out of the barrack, around the farm, down the road. That's a good, good, nimble little machine. And there's one thing I would say about these, this new range is we're not aiming it at a dedicated agricultural market or construction. There's quite a wide, wide variety of applications where we could potentially kind of place it. Um, so we are looking at agriculture is obviously an obvious one for livestock dairy for getting down small yeah. alleyways for those traditional buildings law exactly. buildings exactly we, we, we've all got them chicken sheds yeah. um, but we're also into construction so plant hire rental small tool hire all that kind of places um, but we're also looking at you know, estates councils um caravan parks nurseries there's actually quite a broad events industry, events industry. Yeah, all there's, sorts, isn't there, really? there's a wide variety of applications really and um, we'll have a look a little bit later, but we've got a massive selection of attachments to go on the front as well for, right. to suit quite a few of those customers. Front end of the machine then, we have a, obviously a telescopic boom, 4.3 metres lift height. It's kind of got that as close to central position on, on the machine as we can kind of place it really. So we've got the engine on one side of the machine, boom in the centre position which disappears down the middle and then cab on the other side. So really good visibility over that boom. And it shares quite a few of the design characteristics as the bigger brothers, the, the 420 or the 16. It does look very familiar, doesn't it, with it that does. swan neck and you swan know, neck's very, very similar shape of the boom. Um, for agricultural customers, we can also put brushes around just to stop any sort of dust and debris going down. Um, and then swan neck, we've got a bucket ram that sits underneath, nicely tucked it tucked away. So any this front area is not very well not uh, exposed. Um, and then we've got knuckle linkage to give high rotation angles so using the bucket 
We've got really good crowd back and also yeah. dump angles as well. Nicely protected hoses. This one's been specified with the additional third service, uh, which can comes included with a spec, but can be optional. But it's all nicely tucked away, so not very um, exposed. And then on the front here, with this machine has got the four point um, carriage on there. Right. Um, we also offer a skid steer plate and a Euro 8 tractor and loader. Um, two of them are, are manual locking, with the Euro 8 is a hydraulic locking um, only, right. but we can hydraulic lock all three of them. Got you. Well. And there's no Manitou headstock on this? We don't know, it's the only probably Manitou in the range with no Manitou headstock. In reality, the Manitou carriage is quite a heavy lump um, yeah. with the fork frame. So for us to maximise what we can do, this is the best setup right. for the machine, basically. And there's lots of options here as yeah. well. For you can see you can get hydraulic locking on this. On yes, this we can right. spec hydraulic locking on this one. Right. It would retrofit onto it. This You'll see there, we've got manual locking yeah. pins. And then for an ag customer, if you are changing attachments a lot, if you spec third services, you also get depressurization uh, button to drop the pressure from yeah, your... Exactly. If you <laughs> go from grabs and, and yeah. shear, you know, is that small. standard? That uh, it comes standard with an auxiliary. Moving around this side of the machine, um, you will see we've got a very nice low bonnet line. Visibility is really excellent from the cab frame. So, and again, limited amount of cab pillars in the way, and, and there's no B pillar in there. No B it? pillar. Just plenty of, of open space you can see right across the across the machine. And underneath the bonnet on this side, we have a 35 horsepower Yanmar engine, full stage five compliant. Um, and to meet those stage five, we do have a, a catalyst and a DPF filter. Right. But no ad blue on this side. So no ad blue on this side. Yeah, right. underneath the requirements for it. We have good access to our radiators. Um, and as, as if you want to on an ag spec, you can also spec a reversing fan. All right. as well it would come with the classic spec but you can also spec it on yeah. the lower lower spec versions so again you know if you work in an industrial environment you can have that blowing out and we've also got a nice easy panel there which can be removed just so you can clean out in the bottom of those radiators yeah well basically all your daily checks are just really nice and easy to to sort of get to just keeping things nice and clean and simple around the machine then you'll see we've got really easy access to your fuel tank on the back um this machine has got full road lighting package on there as well so we've got led road lights um, all around the machine you'll see underneath the machine we've got carraro axles so again another well well known axle manufacturer that's all linked to your hydrostatic transmission um, and even a standard we've got things like wheel alignment sensors so you know inside the cab right. where your wheels are so just making wheel change your alignment nice and simple we have limited slip differentials um, on both axles, front right. and rear, so it will give good traction if you are on a bit of a sticky slope, if you're loading onto a trailer maybe, um, just digging into a bit of stone, you know, yeah. you do feel that extra grip from having all four wheels kind of biting away. Really. That's it. So, um, and something which is kind of new for us, which we've got on this machine, never really had it on any other.